the amazing witty last words of the Wild West famous outlaws. Have you heard of the Julian Gallows? Perhaps it's the most brutal thing invented in the Wild West. It's also called the water-powered gallow since it would hang an outlaw after the water in a barrel runs out. And some infamous outlaws like Tom Horn experienced this horror. Like any outlaws at their last moments, they got last words. And we've picked the best and the wittiest of the bunch. At the end of this video, you'll discover what we picked as the best and the story about how the person who said it got allegedly framed to be hanged. So without further ado, let's get started. James Brown Miller Deacon Jim was skillful in getting rid of any evidence that made him always got acquitted of his crimes. Also, he makes sure no witness survives, even if he has to kill his cohorts. However, soon Jim makes a careless mistake and got finally arrested. But the people feared that he might be able to escape again. That's why just to make sure, they got him out to the jail. Not to free him, but to hang him. Before his death, he asked to let his wife receive his ring. Then before jumping off the box, Jim said, Let her rip! Levi Boone Helm. Then with the nastiness and wickedness combined, no other outlaw can outdo the infamous Kentucky Cannibal. Levi was wicked to the point he didn't just kill his victims, but even ate them. And his nastiness was on par as he tried to deceive the people, pushing all his crimes on his gang members. But this made the people more eager to kill him. Eventually, Levi gave up with this ploy to get acquitted and said, Kick away, old fellow. My turn next. I'll be in hell with you in a minute. Cherokee Bill This fellow didn't just have a fascinating last word, but also an interesting story. Yes, he really hit the sore spot of the hanging judge, Isaac Parker. It's not that he was innocent, since he killed more than eight men and robbed stores, stagecoaches, and trains. So even though he was scheduled to be hanged at 1 p.m., Judge Parker really wanted to punish the young lad and moved it to 2 p.m., since his sister would arrive at that time and would see how the outlaw would suffer. Bill seemed to get annoyed every minute. So, when someone asked him if he got any last words, he just menacingly replied, I came here to die, not to make a speech. Tom Horn Surprisingly, Horn got something in him that's really outstanding. He became an army scout, a lawman, and even a detective of the Pinkerton Agency. So, what happened? Before his killing incident, Horn might be the only one of the few that led peace talks with the natives. Even Geronimo trusted the outlaw. So many believe that it's more likely he got framed in killing a 14-year-old kid. In contrast, they supposed that Horn only killed criminals who deserved to get it. And during his last moments in the scaffold, Horn said, Ain't losing your nerve, are you, Joe? Then, he stood in the trap door waiting for the barrel to run out of water and fall. However, 80 years after that, though it was already late, Horn eventually got acquitted through the lack of evidence. You've discovered the amazing witty last words of the Wild West famous outlaws. So now click this and discover the most amazing Old West wisdoms.